Well, this is a very unique program for Canada. This is the only school in Canada that teaches culinary alongside food technology. This program takes all those aspects of being a scientist and being a chef. We combine them to create a research chef, uh, a culinary innovator, somebody that's going to go out and make products that are going to end up on restaurant menus or on uh, grocery store shelves. Somebody had to make those, and it's not necessarily classically trained chefs. It's people who have a great appreciation for food, but understand the technical requirements for manufacturing large quantities of product. Uh, today they're working on their capstone project, which is the final project in their third year. They have to make a product, and so they have to create that recipe, make it taste absolutely delicious, take that recipe and move it into a formula, and they have to put a HACCP plan together, and they've got to make sure that they've got packaging and pricing and a final formula that you could take that product and you could go into a manufacturing facility and duplicate it over and over and over again. It's extremely lucrative for students today to have that blend of culinary and science because manufacturers want to ensure safety and high quality in every single product that they're distributing. But at the same time, they want to make sure that food is on trend, it's delicious, and it's the sort of product that a consumer wants to buy time and time again. It's chocolate kielbasa. It looks like salami or a traditional kielbasa, but it's made just with chocolate and cookie crumbs. Um, the end goal is compound butter, so I'll be flavoring the butter with different ingredients. It just happens that one of our students already has launched her kale pesto in Benchmark Restaurant. And so for them to graduate, they need to make a product. It should be tasty should meet all the criteria of what they've learned over the three years, and then they should have a product in their hand that they can say, this is what I need. 